Hello, welcome back to another episode on aliens and UFOs with Worldview Connections, Worldview uh, series we're having uh, on mysteries. So, uh, yeah, again, before we get into the pop culture stuff, uh, looking at UFO religions and ufology, which I think is fascinating, part of our culture uh, and globally, this isn't just an America thing or UK, was Jesus given powers from the alien gods? So there is a, uh, this comes out of Zachariah Sitchin's uh, theories as part of his stuff that I really thought was interesting. Uh, but I also saw, read some other scholars and researchers that were wondering, is God the father and highly intelligent, sophisticated man from another galaxy who is immortal, wise, and powerful, giving that power, having a child with Mary? So an alien having a child with a human, that's a uh, later hominid, uh, a homo sapien. So pretty interesting uh, worldview on the Bible right there for religion as well. Here's another uh, thing with Christianity in 14th century Christian art depicting beings in space objects. I, I believe this is a, a, mu a mural in Kosovo. And this is witnessing the crucifixion of Jesus. If you look close up on this, and I put the arrows on this painting, if you look up real close, these beings in sun, these are, you know, the, someone's in, you know, these are spaceships. What are these in this painting witnessing Jesus's crucifixion? Are these the watchers, the messengers from the gods uh, reporting, uh, re, you know, are they always just watching over us? And this is kind of a takeaway for me is, is this who the aliens are? Are they the watchers? Are they some kind of guardians of the earth just meant to not intervene as much as they can, as little as they can, but to uh, watch over the humans and how we're developing maybe some of the theories. So the ancient Hebrews wrote about the watchers. Are these aliens watchers? Are these angels, messengers from other worlds? According to the first Enoch and Jubilees, these are some other books outside the traditional canon of the Bible. And the last, one of the last points getting into this in angels is, was the apostle Paul or someone he knew visiting other worlds when he referred to being caught up to the third heaven? up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which is not lawful for a man to utter. If you look in second Corinthians in the new Testament chapter 12. So you see these different places, you know, who was visiting, what were they given secret knowledge? And this gets into also, if people aren't into ufology, some people take this into a lot of uh, what Paul and Jesus were talking about mystery cults, the ancient Greco Roman theories, but this is the ufology uh, part of aspect of that which I thought was really fascinating. So getting into alien angels and demons mentioned in the biblical passages, are these aliens, what we would call in our modern vernacular, messengers from other worlds, from these gods, higher beings. Um, and so we have this chart here. Let's close up on some of this. And you, this is the hierarchy of angels and demons, according to certain Christian churches, that they have the first triad, the highest triad of seraphim, cherubim, and thrones. So anything plural in the Hebrew has I am. And so these are ranks. Let's close up on close up on some of these. As you see, these are non purely human beings. These are some interesting uh, morph, you know, zoomorph zoomorphic uh, beings here. And it shows their traits. You can pause it and read about these. Uh, the seraphim, for example, the highest order of God's angelic servants, appear with the six wings and four heads, known as the fiery serpents or beings of pure light, angels of love, light and fire, so et cetera, et cetera. They're humanitarian planetary causes. What's interesting to me is that this goes right along with some of the ufology and uh, theories out there. So there's, again, you can pause the screen and read about some of these. And there's each rank, each uh, level of angels or you know, planetary messengers. What are these beings? Who are they? And who were the ancient people writing the Bible referring to exactly? And so we have this final slide on this is the angels and demons are these aliens for these, you know, where they did have, did they have flying suits, right? And we'll get into that a little bit. Outside the biblical and religious uh, context, we'll in this video with kind of introducing the next few videos that reportings of UFO abductions starting in the mid 1950s. Uh, and so this very interesting stuff when you look into UFOs and aliens and ufology, stay with us on Worldview Connections on Worldview Mysteries.